Hi, my name is Casey. I'm with Animal Urgent Care. Um, today I'm going to show you a couple of things. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to give insulin to your pet. Um, and the process is the same for dogs and cats. Um, everyone has a little bit different insulin. Um, so you're going to need your insulin syringe. Um, these are very specific syringes uh, that are labeled for insulin. You also want to check on your syringe, um, the part of the syringe that's labeled for units um, versus mLs. And so I don't know if you can see that there, labeled for units. And so each different insulin um, is labeled for different syringes. So this uh, would be for a U40 insulin. So you can see that here on the side, U40 insulin, and it'll say what kind of insulin it is on your bottle when you get it. Um, and so for practice purposes, we're going to give uh, our boy here just some saline under the skin so this won't hurt him at all. Right? All right. And uh, so on your insulin bottle, and this is just a saline bottle, but on your insulin bottle, there'll be a part in the middle that has a little ring on it, and that's the center of the bottle, and that's where you want to poke. And the needle comes attached on the side that says units, the units that you need. I'm going to give our buddy here a whole two units of insulin. So you just push up, and then you pull down, and this is really clear, so it's difficult to tell um, that the saline is in there, but it's in there. And then um, you wanna go under the skin. And so how you go under the skin is you find uh, an area on between the shoulders where the uh, where they have lots of scruff, lots of skin. And you wanna just kind of pick it up, um, kind of like if you were to pick up a napkin or a tissue, and you if you pick it up with your fingers like this, it creates a little tent. And then you uh, kind of position your um, point your finger on the door of the tent and so you want to pick up the skin you just definitely want to lift it up away from the body that way you know you're getting under there and then you want to take your little needle and go right into the door of the tent so we're gonna go inside the tent and then we always pull back on our insulin syringes so you want to um, pull back on this plunger piece and just make sure that you're not getting any blood in the syringe so you can see when I pull back I just got a little air bubble and that means that I'm not in a vein and I'm under the skin and I can just go ahead and give it so you push all the way through, pull the needle out, give it a little rub and you're done.